Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This time let's continue our Fallout 1 series. There is a new location available for us or available to be discovered. So it was Vault 15. So let's load the last position and we are going to enter the Vault 15 just to try to find the water chip in it. Okay, as you as as we were told by the by the Katrin in the Shade Designs, this vault is abandoned. You might see it has like no no electricity. The door is the entrance door are destroyed. Okay, we have to clear the clear the way into into the vault. Lot of enemies here. It's <laughs> it looks like it's the is the common thing for the for all the vaults. The the caves in front of their and entrance are like infested by by rats. Okay, was killed. As you can see just just because i jumped uh, one level higher i'm more accurate with the with the with this pistol or handgun on how is it called so i'm able to hit uh, enemies at greater distances okay this is the lesser mole looks like some bigger enemy Okay, and Yen helped a lot. Okay, some flares in the in this in this box. It's pretty dark here, and even it is so dark, I'm able to shoot like very precisely into into all these enemies. My my percentage or aim percentage is pretty high, so that's. I'm not gonna shoot now, just because the yen is between me and the red. I don't want to hit him, so I let him to kill it. Let's go closer. killed and this is the last enemy on this on this floor so that was the entrance to the to the vault there is one more box to be open oh nice nice loot for steam packs and the first aid kit so basically that's all from this like first floor or first underground floor and there is the elevator which is uh, which is missing here you see nothing out of the ordinary so let me use the the rope which have which we have so let's switch the hands and let's use the rope here in this elevator okay so the rope is there Let's descend into in the second underground floor. OK, 
Okay, hit for 8 points. Nice. He can hit me instead of <laughs> instead of the head of of the red. So that's always nice when he shoots you into face. Okay, he's going for the second cave red. Okay, killed. Okay, that's it from this room. Is it something here? Behind the corner, not yet, not nothing, nothing there. And the Yen is standing in the door, that's perfect. Okay, he moved. Sometimes you just have to wait for a little while, just to just to wait that he will clear the door. I missed. Mm -hmm. Okay, he killed the rat. It's good that the that Ian is able to shoot twice during one turn. It's very helpful. So basically, it's he's not like doubling my. My five power he is like he's three times as effective as I am currently. Or twice as effective, so to be to be exact. Okay, I didn't I didn't kill the red. It survived. Killed. There is some two to three full metal jacket ammo for the rifle. Something else here? No, not nothing here. So let's see this room. There is also one red here. It's not necessary to kill off these reds. Okay, it says that this this is the world living quarters. It is a standard design from the time before the war. So basically, these are the rooms for the for the inhabitants of this vault. It seems to be unoccupied. Unoccupied, definitely, it's abandoned. This vault. Okay, what's here? Yes, another rope and a leather jacket. So that is great. That's the first armor you can you can use use on yourself. So let me quickly put it on put it on myself. Currently my armor class is nine, as you can see here. When I put this jacket on, it's seventeen, and there is some some kind of protection from the from the like normal means like uh, normal weapons like shooting some bullets then the laser weapons fire weapons like the normal normally uh, like the flamethrower for example or maybe some uh, some mode of cocktails or some grenades incendiary then there is a plasma and the explosions so basically it offers me some basic uh, basic protection from okay there is nothing more in this in this room no no other enemies let's clean up the last room I should have reload I missed Okay, it's going for for yen. This this creature. Mm. 
now he's going for me just because I <laughs> I shoot at him. Edit. Okay, let's shoot him again and let's run away. This is my last shell. I need to go for the. Oh no, I have still one shell left in the in the gun. So this is the last shell. Okay. And in the meantime, okay, reload it. Ian cleared all the room. Not yet. <laughs> one red was there still. And as you can see, I'm pretty low on my health, so I'm gonna heal to heal myself. I'm I'm going to use the first aid kit. Okay, there is nothing, nothing more to see here. I'm just checking all the corners just to see whether there isn't isn't something on the ground. Okay, nothing here. So, I'm going to heal myself. You failed to do healing, so what's my what's my healing currently like? First aid is 35%, so pretty much very low, but I'm gonna try it again. Okay, I healed 3 hit points and gained uh, 25 experience point for that, for doing that. It's always ni nice just to try, it gives you some experience, some small small amount of points. Okay, another 2 points. You failed to do any healing. Failure. Failure. Okay, three hit points healed. Okay, and I now like used all of my abilities to heal myself at this moment, so I cannot do any more healing by this first aid kit because I'm too exhausted. It's like uh, I I I think you need some some. What's going on here? Just take it, okay. Okay, so this was the second underground floor. Let's descend to the next floor the same way. There is the hand. Okay, there is this big, big terrifying animal. Greater Mole looks very angry. Okay, and was killed. So that's always nice when you have some friend nearby. Okay, there are some others, Mole Rats. So let's shoot and run to this side so Ian is able to shoot at them. At least I hope so. Okay, one got killed. Luckily they are unable to to harm me anyway. It's may maybe also just because I'm using some some leather jacket. It, it offers you some like basic level of protection. Okay, was killed. Oh, and it's going for 
that mole rat which is reacting from the other room. I'm going to help him out, like, to stay with him. Okay, that's okay. Meeting room for the vault where the emergency supply cabinet would be is buried under tons of rocks. So this is some, some kind of meeting room and now it's completely like, like under the rocks. So seems like part of this vault collapsed. There is also some useful stuff, especially this 10 mm ammunition, which I'm using right now, so will definitely help me. Let me check whether there is something else here, but probably not. Oh, a red here. Nice. I missed. No, I hit him for six points. Ian missed. Ian hit. I missed. Okay, this might turn the enemy to attack me. And Ian, Ian is going into that room to attack the remaining Moret. Okay, I'm running out of ammo slowly. I wasn't able to reload like my gun completely. I'm gonna kick your ass. Nice one. Okay, we earned new level, but I'm not gonna distribute the skill points yet. Let's wait a little while. I will. I will now check this, uh, these uh, boxes or how is it called? This I don't know. It's maybe a cabinet. Yeah, that's the correct name. A locker. It says here. So there is some ki kind of dynamite or dynamite with some uh, timing device on the top and some fragmentation granite, yeah, fragmentation grenade. I'm not sure how, how accurate, how good I am with the grenade, so might be might be interesting to use it and not to not to hit myself, but. Uh, Probably I'm not good in uh, in throwing grenades, so not gonna use it definitely. Let me check this cabinet. Oh, nice. So currently I'm using the 10 millimeter 10 millimeter pistol. As you can see, the I don't know how to see the, 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 the numbers, okay, here, damage from 5 to 12, and if I add this semi-machine gun to the, to comparison to my other hand, it has the same damage, same range, but you can carry up to, up to 30 ammo in it, and you are able to use burst, so basically it's a better type of weapon than this pistol, I'm definitely going to use it. 
uh, I'm not gonna use the burst in a, when uh, Yen is in front of me. To, <laughs> I, I might be able to hit him as well, and the burst is like very destructive. Okay, and now we can see you are able to determine that the command and the control center is definitely buried under even more rock. rock. You will have to look for the water chip elsewhere. So we gained another 500 experience points for just revealing that there is no water chip in this in this vault. At least it's here, but we are not able to get there just because of these rocks. There is a massive rock fall behind this behind this pile of rocks. So we have to find for or look for water chip somewhere else, definitely. Okay, let me distribute these points to the uh, to my my uh, character, uh, and uh, for each two levels or each three levels, I don't know now. Maybe it's uh, se first, second, third. So each three levels, you are getting the some kind of uh, picking up pep picking up a, up a perk option so you can pick up uh, some kind of uh, perk which uh, massively improves improves one or two of your like characteristics for example a faster healing adds you currently I'm on two heal rate so if I if I select let me press the cancel character if I, for example, pick this uh, faster healing, it adds plus one point to your healing rate, which basically means if I if you are on one, it doubles your heal rate. If you are on two, it basically adds like 50% uh, more to your healing rate. So it's really, really amazing. Uh, for example, awareness gives you more details about the about your enemy. For example. Uh, you can see their hit points or at least their like health level whether they are injured or almost dead something like that then there is a bonus uh, age to a means hand to hand and melee attacks so if this you are like more bruiser you can you can go into some some close combat battles so you are much much better in close combats it's a very good for characters which uh, depend on the strength and uh, not like not a sniper like intelligent sniper which I selected at the start so if you put more points into strength endurance uh, agility then you are able to pick up this and be like uh, like uh, Mike Tyson maybe earlier sequence means that you are able to draw your back faster than your opponents basically you are less less possible that they will shoot first at you it's very very good perk for 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 me for example my sequence is 14 now and this adds like two points more so will be will be 16 that's very interesting faster healing i told to, talked about this night vision gives you 10 percent to your like uh your like circle which is around your character if you if you if you look here there is like a light around my uh, around my character if I move through the corridors you can see how the light is moving and that's basically my view range where I'm like pretty much accurate anything what's behind it I the the percentage the hit percentage goes dramatically low so it's uh, very very visible in such dark dark places like this one so this adds like 10 percent to your vision so basically this circle is bigger quick pockets means that uh, you are able to jump into your inventory during the combat uh, really fast i don't know how much point does it cost me when i jump during the ba dur during the combat into into inventory but this this is like this will save you some some of these points for example for reload or for some shooting might 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 even help you to shoot at least once once more than without this perk for example smooth talker uh, increases your intelligence by one but it's only during the dialogues 
so only if you are in a, in a dialogue with uh, some person it adds you like uh, plus one to intelligence so basically you can have some unique uh, possibilities how to how to do the dialogue with uh, some some other characters in this in this game strong banks it's uh, like a mule so it's uh, also also known as mule it's it's here so you basically are able to carry like 50 50 pounds more than than before and the swift learner adds you some uh, some percentage some five percent bonus to 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 these points which you get which you get like i'm now on 18 percent so 10 per 10 percent is 1.8 and uh, five percent is uh, 0 0.9 so basically it will add you one more skill point to be distributed around this this your skills for me the best thing to pick up is exactly this uh this swift learner at least at the start so basically it's 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 the best thing what you can maybe take in such early stages as soon as i get to i don't know level 20 it will mean that i will have like 17 more skill points uh, for this for these percentages so let's pick up the swift learner okay and th there you can see the swift learner perk selected and now let's distribute this uh, this percentage i will definitely increase my lock pick abilities maybe to 25 now uh, first aid not so critical not necessary i will i can always use steam packs which are independent on your level of your first aid uh, and you can you can improve your first aid skill by reading books so it will be improved uh, later maybe the speech is also very important so i'm gonna increase the speech just a little bit and i'm going to start uh, piling up some points into my energy weapon slowly and some in these small guns probably to be more more accurate do not miss so many shots might, might be helpful so that was my point distribution it's uh, it's up to your play style how how do you want to uh, like uh, steer or what direction would you like to take for your for your character it, it's it's fully up to you okay there should be some book here yeah that's a book here let's pick it up first aid book okay so basically i was talking about it now i'm gonna read the book just now but first let's jump to the floor okay let's go closer let's end the combat let's start the combat again I'm simply able to do so just because I have high enough sequence and these reds are like very very poor in visibility and in uh, sequence numbers so therefore you are almost always first to draw you have to simply step up uh, directly on the red just to that she will or it will be first in the sequence so this looks like to be the little of value left in this room so basically nothing interesting here but there is a one locker at the end here on this wall so i'm gonna check it now i don't know whether there is something on the on the ground here Okay, nothing here <laughs> I almost step okay so this was the last enemy 
as you can see here on the map I'm see I see only an outline let me just check this left corner okay nothing here and what's inside okay these are the 40 Smith and Wesson 40 44 magnum okay ammo it's for the desert eagle in the later parts very 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 nice and very famous kind of handgun so let's read the book but before we do that just see the first aid it's up to i have a 30 35 percent so let's go into inventory let's pick up the book where is it okay here and let's read it you learned new ways to heal injury so let me check the level now it's 31 percent so basically six six percent increase let's get to the upper level out of this vault and we have to continue our journey just to find the find the water chips elsewhere let's climb up the ladder and we are in the desert again so let's save our progress and let's return to shady zens with the bad news that we didn't find any water chip here in this vault okay let's holster our weapon and as we have the stinger or how is it called of the of the scorpion scorpion tail let's head to the doctor Razlo and let's give him this example of the rat scorpion gland I need healing as a first let's see okay I've been healed but maybe I was on uh, 49 hit, hit points before simply just just when you travel like from one one city to another it uh, the healing rate heals your yourself like <coughs> automatically so basically this is my, probably my top I I've been healed already so let's talk let's put him or uh, let's give him this example and he gives us the free sample of uh, sample of uh, this antidote and we earned 250 experience point now we should have the antidote in my inventory so let's put it in my hand and let's use this antidote to this poor I don't know I don't know his name is a sets sets brother Okay, you, I've gained 400 experience point for cu curing, curing Jarvis of his poison. Okay, so basically we helped him a lot. Let's talk to Aradesh just for a while. Greetings. What may I help you with this fine day? Okay, there is nothing, Goodbye. no new possibilities what to talk about so let's head back to the gate and let's talk with Seth once again and let's ask him to direct us to the cave of uh, rat scorpions so take me to the rat scorpions caves it's the place where you can be just taken by this set is the only person which will which is able to take you there 
and uh, this this place is not on the map so basically you have to always ask him to do so so you are unable to get here any other way then okay not the burst just to reload okay guys this is the rat scorpion cave as you can see here are a lot of rat scorpions in this okay <laughs> pretty enough enemies here let's let's say that way so uh, that will be part of my next video ju ju just how to clean this this cave and how to how to block the the entrance so they are they are not able to get out from the cave uh, again so basically this will solve the the rat scorpion problem of the shady zen so guys uh, that's all for now let me thank you for your all your comments uh, seems like you you all remember the fallout one game you you loved it so i'm i will be very very happy to to continue this journey and uh, probably show you a little more about this game so guys thank you for watching uh, this video as always have fun take care and bye